This is Dan Elder from Kinasa Software. I'm here to talk about background colors in Milestones Professional. First, let's talk about the global background color for the task rows. If I go to the Format tab, I'm going to click on Horizontal, Grid Lines, and Shading. And that's where the settings are for the grid lines between the rows and also the backgrounds for the individual rows. Once I click on that, I've got the Grid Lines tab and the Shading tab. Uh, so this is where you can change the grid lines if you wanted them to be different than these dotted lines, for instance, or you could change the color. Or if I go to the shading tab, this is where I can change the background. Right now it's kind of this gold color with uh, kind of a white uh, fade to center uh, under the special effects. So if I change this, for instance, to none, then it'll be kind of that solid color. Um, and obviously I can change the color if I wanted a different color. I can also change the alternating pattern uh, from odd rows to even rows, for instance. And you can see all three of these settings change because I've got this checkbox right here, apply new selections to all three sections. I'm gonna press okay. And then you can see that background color changed. Um, there is another option for background colors. Uh, this is using the schedule shading, uh, which is kind of the default, but you also have an option to use outline shading. So if I choose outline shading, and then I click on that uh, color theme again, you can see it kind of changes. So now it's gonna be a different color based on the outline level. So I can change the outline level just by selecting a row and pressing tab. And you can see that now that these are different outline levels, they have different background colors. Um, so if it doesn't look like uh, you know every other row, for instance, um, the color theme might be set again in the format tab to uh, use outline shading rather than schedule shading. And outline shading, you can change in the same uh, method as the default shading, except you're gonna click on this grid line shading font sizes by outline level. If you click on that, then you can actually see for each outline level, um, it's gonna have a different color. So this is outline level one, outline level two is a little bit lighter, and then three and four, and you can kind of see those colors right there. So now I'm actually going to just bring this stuff back to outline level one, using these arrows up here. Um, and then I'm going to change the background color to just use schedule shading. Um, so yeah, that looks pretty good. So you can see every other row is that uh, kind of light uh, yellowish color. If I go to the format tab, um, I can also change the background color and you can see there's kind of a light blue um, every other row and then it's kind of a gradient down to white down here. So that's actually the background color. So if I click on background color, border frame colors, um, you can see kind of how this is set up. So it's kind of a gradient, this background color, it targets this uh, white color and it's fade to bottom. Um, and if you use a gradient, you have to do interior areas only. So it's actually just the background um, just for the inside of the schedule. But if I turn that off, for instance, uh, no special effects and uncheck interior areas only. I can actually make the whole schedule kind of have that background color and press OK. And so you can see um, every other row is that kind of light yellow color and then the other um, rows are using the background color. So by default, um, most of the schedules just have a white background color, um, but that, that is how you can change that background color. So if I go back to background color, um, I can turn this to white, for instance, and that's kind of what it looks like uh, by default. Um, so that is how you change the background color for the whole schedule, which will also affect any rows that don't have a background color assigned. So that's kind of some universal kind of global settings. You can also change things individually. So for instance, if I wanted uh, maybe these three rows to have the same background color, I can hold shift to kind of select multiple rows. Um, you can also hold control if you wanted to select, you know, rows kind of separate from each other. Uh, but I'm gonna hold shift, so I'm just gonna select uh, project one through project three. And once I've got these rows selected, in the selection tab, you should have an option for more task row options. Click on that. 
and then I can go to grid line slash shade, and that's only gonna affect whatever I've got selected. I'm gonna click on that. <clears throat> and for instance, if I wanted to maybe get rid of the grid lines between these rows, I could just uncheck show grid lines, and I've got, you know, apply new selections to all three sections still checked. And then I'm gonna go to the shading tab, and uh, for instance, I'll just make this kind of like a light blue, or something like that, um, and then I'll press okay and press OK again. And then you can see that only applies to um, those three rows that I had selected. Um, just to show you that again, I can select these two rows right here, four and five, more task row options, uh, grid line slash shade. I'm gonna uncheck the grid lines and go to shading, maybe make that a light green, medium spring green, that looks good. Press OK, press OK. Um, and then I should just have uh, kind of those two sections of the schedule. And now they kind of look like uh, two little, you know, parts of the schedule that are kind of grouped together. Um, you can also add a grid line um, between them. So it's going to be at the bottom of the row. So if I just select uh, Project 3, for instance, again, more task or options, grid line shade. I could show grid lines right there. That looks good. Um, so yeah, that kind of separates that section right there. Again, with Project 5, grid line slash shade, uh, show grid lines, and press OK. And the last background color I'll talk about is the cell background. So we changed the entire row, so all the columns and all the cells will have that background color. But you can also do an override just for an individual cell. So for instance, um, if I click on a row and then click again, um, to select the cell. Then I'll get the cell options in that selection tab. So you can see this background cell color right here. I could change that for instance, um, maybe do some color like that. And then you can see just that cell has that background color. So all the other columns will still have um, kind of that light green color. Um, just to show you again, I'll just kind of select project two, change that background color. Um, and then change that to red. And there is one nice option. If you go to the Tools tab, um, you'll see over here, Manage Symbols, Pictures, uh, etc. You can actually click on that button and click on Manage Cell Overrides. And if you just wanna remove all the background colors um, that maybe you had gone and uh, you know modified and you just wanna get rid of the, all those overrides, you can just click on um, Remove Cell Background Color Overrides and press OK, and that'll get rid of those um, cell overrides. And that's pretty much it for this video about background colors and Milestones Professional. Visit kidasa.com and email support at kidasa.com with any questions. Have a nice day.